purpose of this video is to give you a brief overview of Athena and this will be an Athena view only training class to inform you that Athena does run better uh, on Google Chrome um, so it's preferable to use Google Chrome or it's the recommended if I may say um, I would prefer you starting off from your Google search engine and just search Athena Health Login. That should take you directly to the Athena page. Usually it's the first one. Uh, once you click that, go ahead and put in your username and password. In this section will be where you'll be choosing what department you want to work out of but keep in mind that you may change this at any point uh, when you're actually in the face sheet however you can start off by choosing the department you want to work out of from here after done you just hit go and this is pretty much your Athena face sheet to the left here we have your inbox and on this side we were pretty much you reviewing schedules now to the left side uh, the Athena home page the Athena net right here is pretty much our home page refresh it kinda takes you to Athena home um, exactly what it says right there the calendar will be to view appointments or to view a providers schedule or appointments specifically you can click today's appointments you can toggle between departments choose a date range that you're trying to search for and you hit go and that should automatically take you to the appointment to get back to your home page just go ahead and click that refresher again to the right side this will be your search engine where you decide to search for your patient and you can search by your patient ID number date of birth social security number insurance ID number phone number and the custom ID field will be if you have a patient who has a different MRI number from a different EHR uh, you may try that MRI number so say for example if a patient has a chart in care for or in all scripts um, you can use that number to kind of search with the custom ID field however your best way is to either use a patient ID or most especially you can use a patient name now when searching for a patient name uh, you want to do the first three letters of the patient's last name comma first three letters of the patient's first name in this situation we're doing a test patient and those are the list of the patients that come up you decide what patient that you need to see and you can either jump into the quick view which kinda takes you basically to the patient's demographics insurance as well as their upcoming schedule appointments if you click on chart that takes you directly into the patient's chart alright if you do a, a search by patient ID number so for example the patient ID number is a single number number two in this case once you push enter to search it takes you automatically to the patient's quick view remember the quick view houses the patient's outstanding balance privacy demographic information insurance and at the very end it would have their upcoming appointments from this section to jump right into the patient's chart you can either click view chart or you can click the clinicals and click chart once you click view chart that jump takes you directly into the patient's chart the patient banner houses the patient's picture name date of birth their age as well as their MRI number 
the two double arrows right here allows you to open up an extra field which houses a quick demographic information of this patient to get that box out just go ahead and click that arrow again and that takes that box away to the left side here we have the find which is the magnifying glass this allows you to find any document on this related to this patient the allergies problems meds vaccines their vitals recent lab results as well as imaging results visits and their social history family history surgical history implant history as well as any past medical history that needs to be seen in the find magnifying glass the search engine allows you to pretty much search for any document that you're looking for and kind of narrows it down although it is already filed for us right here like a filing cabinet and you can pretty much um, just look for what you um, in that filing cabinet so for example if you're looking for order you can simply just click on order and it's gonna list every order for that patient if you don't want to go th through the trouble of doing that and uh, you just want to search for a particular test or an order um, say for example we're looking for MRI you just start typing that and that pretty much comes up and you're able to view this patient's MRI to print go ahead and click right there and you're able to print out this particular order you can X out of that and to get rid of this box right here you just click again on the magnifying glass going over to the allergies you would have a list of allergies uh, which would say currently active and to toggle between the active and the historical allergies you will just click this button right here and that will toggle over to your active or your historical allergies moving over to problems that kinda does the same thing currently we're looking at the active problems and I click that and it's gonna show me their historical problems right there as it says at the very top again to toggle between that you just kinda click that and that toggles back to your current active problems the meds also work the same way by clicking that historical it takes you to the historical pro uh, medications and you can toggle back to their current medications vaccines kinda shows you a list of their vaccines and that also will be dated vitals will show you a list of their vitals as well as the dates and if needed you can click on that to create a flow sheet for those vitals and if you need to print the vitals you can hit that little printer icon right there would allow you print out the patient's vitals to get that out the way you just click that double arrow that takes it back lab results uh, right there and you can also click on imaging and that will toggle to the imaging side visits will show you all the patients pre last visits order group and as well as any recent patient cases and remember patient cases are uh, created whenever the patient calls in for a refill a complaint uh, just basically kind of like a tracker those are what we call patient cases and again you can view the patient's social history clicking that over and that would have all their social history the surgical history will be listed if the patient has a surgical history right on the history as the same thing as well as implant history you can toggle back by clicking that that closes up that little page finally we're gonna look at the past medical history that gives you an overview of their medical history um, and to toggle that out just go ahead and click that and as well as click on that tab again and that takes it out 
Now the face sheet, which is pretty much what we're looking at in this section right here, um, is pretty much just to give you an overview of the patient. Um, a quick overview would add, contain their allergies, problems, medications on this section. And on the right section right here, you would have, like you said, the, like you see, the outstanding orders. You can click view more uh, to view more of the orders. Scrolling down, the follow-up, as well as any recent activity uh, by this patient. So it would include any recent activity from orders. As you can see, a patient case, refill will be listed right there. To the right side, right here, we have the icon, which we call the hamburger. Kind of looks like a hamburger right there, you know, with the buns and the patty in the middle. However, we, if you need to create um, an order group, is where you come here. However, for the view training, you would only need this uh, to print out chart sections. Okay, so the number one thing we want to look at is the print chart sections. And this will basically allow you print the medication list, vaccine detail, as well as vaccine summary. Also, this, would, this section would allow you to do a chart export. Now with a chart export, this allows you to print out any section of the patient's chart or fax out any section of the patient's chart. Now, for example, if you're looking to print out the patient's orders, letters, um, you kind of just come over here. First thing you want to do is you can search by a date range of the actual uh, document that you're looking for. Or you could just simply come down here and every document on this patient is within this section. For this example, we're going to go ahead and use the MRI. You just kind of click on the little plus sign to open that up. Select the one that you want to either print or you want to fax. Add it over to that section. Now you have that on that section. You can go ahead and click chart, export chart sections right now. And that opens up another page for you. In this page, you want to go ahead and determine if you need to print it out or you need to fax it out. Now, Athena would automatically fax it. If this is a function that you, you, know, you would need, you can go ahead and click Athena fax, put the fax number as well as the receiver, and click send. To print this out, you go ahead and click paper printout. The sender will be yourself, so find your current facility. You can either search by phone number in this section, and it should pre-populate a list of sections for you, or you can start typing out the address or the name of the, send, of the sender. And then you can go ahead and click Save, and that would print. Again, from the hamburger, you can either do a chart export, which allows you to print out sections of the patient's chart, or you can go print out chart sections, and that will print out med list, vaccine detail, as well as a vaccine summary. If you need to go back to the patient's quick view, from the chart, you click that, quick view from the hamburger. That takes you back to the quick view. Once again, the quick view houses the patient's outstanding balance, demographic information, insurance, as well as upcoming appointments. Bottom right would be your Athena text. This allows you to communicate within practice or with any user on the Athena software. You just simply click the plus sign there, search for who you're trying to send the information or message to, click their name, get a topic, a message, 
as well as if you need to add a patient information you can start by searching for the patient right there with the ID number and it should pull up a patient close out out of that you just go ahead and click plus sign at the click at that little sign at the bottom and that takes your message away again to go back to your home screen if you're done with this patient you simply just need to click the home screen little messages here just for you in case this is um, something you may need to review you can go into a full registration to full to actually view the full registration of this patient but again the same information is what you can actually get from the patient quick view and to come out of this patient you just simply click that and that takes you back to your home screen one other thing to re remember is if you're working and you'll be working out of multiple departments at once it is important to come over to the inbox click that little arrow right there next to the inbox and you can switch from a list view and or clinical inbox a list view allows you to just view one department pretty much you're working out of which is at the bottom here or you can click the clinical inbox and you can actually add multiple users and you can track multiple users inbox from this section to toggle back you simply just click that arrow and you come back to list view the plus sign here allows you to add a department and you can just simply start by searching whatever department schedule you need to see or if you need to see a provider schedule you type, simply tap the provider's name it should come up and you simply click the provider's name and your schedule should automatically populate once again you can either work out of a full department or you can just work out of each provider by selecting your name one important note to remember before we close on your view training is by clicking your name you have an option to switch between clinician and non-clinician it's just important to always remember that if your work is geared towards clinical workflow that day it's better to work out of clinician if you're simply an admin you're not really geared towards clinical workflow then you want to work out of non-clinician for today we worked out of clinician and we're able to view the encounters Appointment request in our inbox on the left side. Once again, you have your home screen. You have the calendar to view the patient uh, appointments. You have your search engine to search for your patient. You have your quick view, which houses demographic information and from the quick view you can jump into the patient's chart and able to find your information document as well as print chart sections or chart export which allows you to search for a particular document or any document within the patient's chart and of course either print it or fax it and again to come out of this page you simply just click Athena net and that takes you to your home page 
this completes your Athena View Only class. Thank you.